Happy New Year, everyone. I am just giving you a quick little tip on how to make soup. You can, I made a ham the other night. So I'm using the ham bone. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with turkey, anything that's got the bone. You can even do it with beef. So I'm gonna show you what I got going. Veggies all peeled. I'm gonna chop them up in a minute. Parsnip, carrots, potatoes, butternut squash. veggies that you prefer. You can put peas, carrots, corn, anything. Just get creative. It's really simple, it's not hard. Those people who don't think they can cook, this is so easy, you don't have to watch it. That's what I love about my Instapot. Put it in, set it, let you know when it's done. You get your other stuff ready, throw it in, cook it again. So, like I said, that's been in there. I'm just trying to get all the meat <clears throat> off the bone and get a good broth. And I know, I just love this hair here. So, I'm gonna get my veggies cut up and we'll go from there. Add this in there for about three hours on soup broth. It's got the ham bone, the rest of the juice, and some water. I'll show you as soon as I pull it out. It's cut up and ready to go in. Parsnips, I tried to cut a little smaller than the rest because these are the firmest of all of them. Your carrots and your potatoes are gonna quick, cook a lot quicker. The squash, it's pretty soft. So I'm probably only gonna do 15 minutes so some of the veggies will still have integrity. Today. Releasing the pressure off of my Instapot. I gotta wait for that little valve to go down. That's the key, don't take it off before that. Transfer the um, ham over here into this. You can just use a regular strainer, but this is what I have. It's a Pampered Chef one. This way I can get all the juices out and put those back in the Instapot and then work on getting on the meat off the bone. Looks like, whoa, steaming up the thing. That's a ham bone juices. So we're going to get in there and get the meat off. I have a broth plus some added water from when I originally cooked the ham. I took all the dry pieces and threw it in there so it did moisten them up quite a bit. <clears throat> I'm going to pull all this off. I might even set some aside for another meal. I'm going to go back in my Instapot right now. Put all my broth back in. Oh, it's steaming it up. And all my veggies. And you can kind of see right here is my fill line. You cannot go past that fill line or it will explode. All the bone out. I got most of the fatty part and the tendons out of the pudding in the pressure cooker. I can get all of this pulled off the bone, the tendons, and I just have the meat left. So I don't need all of this for the soup. So I'll be able to get another meal out of this. I'm going to put some of the meat back in to fill that up. You can get a lot, even off of a neck bone from a beef and your rotisserie chicken. Don't throw the bones away. Throw it in your Instapot. Put about four cups of water in, some seasoning, and you're going to have your own broth and meat to make chicken noodles. Oh, meat in. I just tasted the broth and it needs a little bit of flavor. So I'm going to add in things I like. We're going to put in salt. Some bay, so all I need to find my bay leaf, ground ginger since it is pork, garlic, pepper, and smoked pepper. I got it. I might sneak in a little bit of jalapeno stuff I have in the fridge. Paste. Mmm. Gonna just put a tiny bit of this in. Not too much. Because he does seasonings in, stirred it up, gave it a taste. I think we're good to go. 15 more minutes in the 12. I'm just normal, high, regular pressure cooker. In your bowl of soup. Don't be scared. Instapots are so easy. Make delicious food.